Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're back with our Pro Tools video series. So on the previous tutorial, we learned how to apply fades, okay? Now we're gonna take the concept of the fade in and the fade out, and we're gonna uh, put them together into a new concept called the crossfade. So a crossfade is the combination of a fade out and a fade in um, when they're put um, next to each other, okay? You do that when you're doing editing within an audio clip, like in this case, I have a guitar, okay? It's a, well, it's a, it's a stereo track with stereo guitars. And I put together this part and this other part um, manually. So I basically clicked and dragged to put it there, okay? Now, if, if we just do that, yeah, that might be good, but we might have clicks and pops in that transition. And actually, if we zoom in, you can see there, you know, there could be some discrepancy there, okay? Um, so, the more, I guess, the more aggressive this discrepancy looks here, okay, the more clicks and pops you're going to listen to. Actually, if we just press play here, you can listen to a small click happening, like tick. You can hear that. It's very soft, but it is there. Okay, so what happens here is that the more of those you have, and especially when you start adding compression and things like that, those clicks and pops from uh, bad edits are going to come up. So how do you fix that, especially when you have the edit right in the middle of a part? Well, that's when you need a crossfade. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in into that transition and make sure that you are in your smart tool. And you can simply click here uh, below the, the uh, I guess, the, the the bottom part of the clip. If you, you can see the, the pointer changes to that little square again. If you click and drag you'll be creating a crossfade there, okay? So that's one way to do it. The other way is to just click and drag to highlight the area, and then you can do Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC to create your crossfade, okay? Um, so what we have here, once again, click, drag to select the area and then Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC, and the crossfade window will happen. As you can see, the crossfade window kind of looks like the fade in and the fade out window, but they're they're together. You can see the in shape, just as we saw uh, on the fade in, and then the out shape from the fade out window, and then there's a link out in uh, selector. We're gonna leave that on equal gain. Now the in shape and the out shape. Once again, we can switch that. We can change that. So. Let's go ahead and do, let's do that, and that one there, and press, actually no, let's just, let's just do linear, I like linear crossfades. So if you press OK, boom, the crossfade has been created. Now the other way, as I said, you can simply use your smart tool, go um, below the clip and just click on it, and then drag to make it as long or as short as you want. Okay, let's, let's leave it there. So if we now press, if we zoom out and press play, you should not hear that click anymore. Yep, perfect. No clicks, no pops. Perfect crossfade we just made. Um, this is a technique that you're going to use a lot when you have sources like, for example, in this case, the electric guitar that has a lot of sustain and you want to make sure that one part um, and the other uh, are joined properly, okay? Um, you're, you're also going to be using this when you're, for example, compiling vocals or like pads, keyboards, uh, basses, things, things that have a lot of sustain are typically... Um, are great candidates for crossfades when you're editing, okay? So, those are the crossfades in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using...
All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.